Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip the covers off of this uh, radio. Let's pull the uh, connectors out. So really we've got a couple of screws there. So these are very well made radios, these old Yesus. I've had quite a few um, Yesus in my time. I've still, in fact, I've still got some. Um, still got a couple of Yesus here, actually. I've got my uh, radio that I use for uh, DX in, which is the 857 Yesus. And I've got a little handheld there somewhere as well. It is good quality stuff, Yesus. And it does last a long, long time. So with these older amateur sets, they were always designed really for the radio ham to be able to repair themselves. Let's put a bit of protection down here because this is not my radio. So I'll make sure I don't uh, scratch anything. I'm not sure if uh, there's any screws under there. Take these out. Let's pop the battery uh, component out as well while we're at it. This is the backup battery for the memory. I have tested that because that can cause issues as well, but that is uh, three one and a half volt batteries. This is four and a half volts, it's measuring correctly, so it should come out. Why is it not coming out? Come on. I think this carry handle's just holding it in there. Just pop that one out as well. Let's okay. pop this one out. There we go. That's the bottom cover safely to one side. Okay, so let's have a look to see if there's been anything uh, done in here in the past. I notice that's getting pretty hot there, which is the transformer. And one of the things that I am, uh, well, I've, I've recommended that um, is done is this power board here. She does get uh, <laughs> So you're poking stuff in there, really. Yeah, this big capacitor here, um, the bridge rectifier, uh, and the other electrolytics on this little power board ought to be done, really. Um, if they are the original ones, which I expect they are, then um, this set, I think these were back in the early 80s, these. So, 25 year old. I would say that's nearing the end of the life of the capacitors. As I say, it could well be some of these other capacitors on the main board that are causing problems with the band selector, which is down here. This is quite a complex bit of kit. Um, gonna have to be really careful with that, but it looks like I'm gonna have to take the board out to get at that one. Joy. But as I say, very well put together. Um, have a look through this. So we've got a, a load of diodes there that are switched in with this switch. So it could be that um, saying that it is working. So it could just be a dirty switch. There's plenty of ICs in there that to go wrong. 
just having a quick visual in here just to see if there's anything blatantly jumping out at me but I can't see it Yeah, as I say, I'm going to definitely change the uh, main um, power supply capacitor there. It's um, it's possible it's been done. I don't know. 25 volt, 6,800 microfarads. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll, we'll buy in some um, high quality capacitors and change that. Pop a slightly better re rectifier in there. So I should be able to get one with a bit better re rating than that one. Nice and easy to take that board out. The uh, transformer can go a bit funny in these, but uh, it is working, so I'm hoping that we've got the right voltages on that. Nothing else I can see untoward. So what I'm going to do now quickly is I'm going to get my um, magnifying light and I'm just going to scan over the whole board to see if there's anything that I can see blatantly obvious. Uh, the um, AF gain and tone control is still quite noisy. I think the uh, owner did say he did try cleaning that but um, that is definitely still noisy so I need to put some switch cleaner in there. I need to have a good look into this switch. As I say, I'm not convinced it's a switch. I think it could be either the alignment voltages or uh, a dodgy IC. But you never know, it might be an easy fix. Bit of square of the old uh, switch cleaner and away we could go. I think this is the main VFO unit in here. This is the chip, I believe, that switches between them all. MC fourteen fifty five six B Q zero three. Lovely laid-out radio, nice and easy to work on. Apart from that switch, <laughs> apart from the one that I need to get to, that looks like it's going to be a bit of a devil. Looks like I'm going to have to take this main board out to get to that properly. But I would like to um, just take that out and have a look. Anyway, join me again in a minute after I've had a bit of a closer look with my magnifier. Okay, I've had a look over this now. I can't see anything really untoward. Um, capacitors, difficult to see with these because um, they're not brilliant to be fair. They're only 85 uh, degrees C rated. Even the power supply caps are only 85 degrees C, L, Elna, which aren't that brilliant. Um, so I think it would be worth taking the whole lot out. What a job though. I think the power supply is a must. Um, new bridge rectifier, new um, capacitors in the power supply. That's a, that's a given that is. These, I'm not sure. I think we'll see how we get on. Um, I don't think failure of any of these could do any damage. Failure of these could definitely do some damage. So, um, we'll have to see. I think what I'll do is I'll measure these when I take it out and see what they're like. If they're um, way out, then uh, it's going to have to have a full recap. I say I've just whipped the cover off the VCO there, but um, it's absolutely they poured wax in that. I don't know if you can see that just in here. It's absolutely full of wax, and we have got four electrolytics in there, and uh, the random behaviour could be down to one of these four. You know, there is. It's so difficult because of the way they're actually packaged. But I mean, this one looks like it could be slightly swollen. Difficult to say, really. 
I have had a good look at them. I can't see anything, as I say, that's really untoward. I'm just looking at this one here. It looks a little bit swollen, possibly. It might just be the way that the um, cover's been put on it. But say, it's going to be a bit of a pig to get these out. I'll probably have to put some hot air on there and move the um, wax around a little bit to get them out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, take this board out. <laughs> Because the piece I want to get to is down here. This is the band selector switch. I don't really want to just randomly spray switch cleaner and I want to make sure that I'm actually getting it into the workings. Uh, it's quite a complex switch this one, there's a lot of uh, connections in there. It seems strange it's um, sort of like if you leave it for a while it, it It'll sort of like kick back into life, which is it sounds like a capacitor, but the same capacitors are right over here. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to take this board out in order to get to that switch properly. I can see the back of the switch there. And looking at the board, there's obviously I am, I will say, I am disconnected from the mains. I was using an isolation transformer. But there's quite a few um quite a few screws hold this in. I'm hoping not to have to disconnect all of the um jumpers. I'm hoping just to ease this board forward up and up and out. I might have to just release these side pieces here. Because there's some like just cable cable retainers here. Just need to bend them up slightly to remove the cable out of them. I should be able to get it out. So uh, bear with me. I'm going to have a go at taking that out. Okay, there's eight screws there that have, that hold the board in. So that's now loose. I've got to disconnect and remove the band selector switch. Or the knob anyway. Just loosen that. Pops out. We've got a retaining nut there. Which I'll probably just go and get, uh, see if I've got a long socket for that one. Okay, I measured that and it's around about 12 mil. So I've got 12 mil long reach socket. Let's get in and uh, just take that one out. Okay, I want to drop any bits down inside. Okay, that looks like the main board is now loose. So what I've got to try and do now is uh, ease it gently out of its housing. So yes, yeah, so need to bend these slightly. Gently does it. Let's get some wiring room up. That should start things moving. Now I'm going to have to disconnect some of these jumper wires. Lovely. Let's take some photos, I think, before we do anything else. Okay, well in the end I did have to disconnect all the jumpers and um, I've taken the uh, board completely out, so uh, yeah, there we go. So, I'm going to inspect the underside of the board, just to have a look to see if there's any signs of any 
dry joints which I very much doubt with these sets but you never know and uh, then we're going to get to grips with this tuning band switch it looks like there is a little cover that comes off of that So, soldered into the board. I'm going to check all these connections on this switch as well, so bear with me, that's my next step. <laughs> 